Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 34 here to bring you guys more Battlefield Hardline beta today. We're gonna be playing some more heist, and also we're gonna be introducing you guys the uh, grappling hook. Now, the grappling hook is a great way to get to the roof. Let me tell you guys why. It's a lot safer, and also you can just shoot it in the beginning of the match. I mean, it's not gonna prevent you at any time. So, um, yeah, I mean, just shoot it up there, and you should be able to get to the roof in no time. And um, you know, the reason why it's safer is because you never know if somebody's gonna wait for you at the stairs. You know, so there's always a camper at some point in the map, and um, you know, in order for you to prevent yourself from getting killed and spawn all the way back to base, you know, use the grappling hook. It's a lot easier. It's very quick. You know, and the rope, by the way, the rope stays there. As you can see on the screen, this rope stays there like for the next five minutes, I believe. It doesn't disappear like for the longest time, unless it's, they do disappear. I'm not sure because I've been like so into the gameplay, like like maybe like four minutes in, and I still see it like it's still there. Like I'm like, oh shit, it's still there. So let me use it again. So it is a long-lasting rope, which is pretty good. So you can not even shoot another one. You can just go to the same location and sneak through there and go up the roof. And another thing is, it's a great stealth way. Like, they don't even expect you to go up there because, you know, like, who do they expect? Everybody's expecting to be, like, in the building and shit and nobody's at the roof. And there's only, like, one or few smart guys that actually go through the roof and explore the roof in the highest mode on this map. Because, you know, there's three ways you can enter to, to the vault. The roof, the side doors, which are inside the building. Okay, and uh, the f the very few that go to the roof are the ones that usually get the cash. So, um, yeah, in order for you to give him a surprise party, use the grappling hook and sneak right behind him. As you can see, I'm tricking out my opponent, just going back up in the roof. They're, they thought I was like, oh, right, he gave up or something. Like, no, I'm actually going back up. And there's the, those two clowns right there. Shot one down, and there's another one just running around like in circles and shit. And I'm like, all right, should I take care of the cash or let me take care of these two clowns over here? Another one goes down and kill assist. Nice kill right there. Go down once again just to check on the cash. As you can see, you know, I'm telling you, it's a good strategy. They don't even expect you to be there because who would have thought that, you know, this game would have needed a grappling hook? Which is a cool gadget, you know. I do, I, that, that really needs to be in Battlefield 4. <laughs> that really needed to be because, you know, there was a lot of buildings and then, you know, we couldn't even climb up and every time we would climb up, there would be somebody in the stairs just waiting for us. Everybody's just camping and blah, you know. It's just a, it was a total mess and good thing they added the grappling hook so I can, like, so we can all have an easier access towards the roof. So, as you can see here, I go in again and use it again. The another thing is you gotta have a good range weapon and also a good range stealthy weapon because if you don't, everybody's gonna know that you're there and then everybody's gonna start shooting you. So if you wanna be very stealthy, add the silencer so you can have more stealthy ways out there. So as you can see there was one guy right there, just they didn't expect me to be there because hey, there's only like a one way in, which is through the stairs, and nobody's gonna be behind him at all. So he was so confident that he never thought of the grappling hook, you know. So, um, use it, guys. Buy it right away at some point. You don't even need to buy it like 100%. Just, I'm just giving you guys the suggestions, you know, just showing you how effective it is because it is a good stealthy way of an, of an equipment. I th I believe this equipment costs like around 2,000 in-game cash. I'm not sure if it's 2,000 or 3,000. Um, you know, it's, it's somewhere around there, but it's not, it doesn't cost that much. So, don't worry. Don't worry about your in-game cash. It's not going to go all the way. It's just a little bit, all right? Don't get all scared. <laughs> so uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my tip and strategies on using the grappling hook. Just uh, shoot on the edge. Don't don't worry, guys. Even even though it tells you, like, oh, you can't shoot it here, just click R2 as much as you can. You know, the shooting button, just click it as much as you can and no shoot. Because sometimes it's a big circle with a stripe in the middle, you know, that you can't shoot supposedly. Just Click on the shooting button as much as you can. So, if you guys got any questions on the gra grappling hook, leave a comment in this comment section and I'll read them later on and I'll reply to it. And, um, yep, that's it. So, subscribe for more and leave a like on the video if you guys want to see more Battlefield Hardline beta. See you guys later and subscribe for more.